morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today with uh, Mass Miller. Uh, this is Siva Devaki. I would like to talk about uh, uh, the permission sets uh, that are required for non Mass Miller users uh, in Mass Miller. Uh, you may wonder why a non mass mailer user needs to have permissions. Um, and I'll explain why and how you can actually do this. Uh, many customers have a requirement to actually build uh, email notifications um, many, many times uh, just on a, a workflow notification kind of thing, right? So something happens in the system, meaning a record gets updated, status changes, say such as opportunity status changed or stage changed, and they want to send an email notification to maybe the contact roles. Um, you know, that's it, just a simple use case scenario. Or maybe you get a lead and you want to send a lead response email. Or maybe you want to put them in a drip campaign, or maybe somebody's changing some record and you want to fire off an email notification, something on those lines, right? Uh, so these are all kind of um, you know uh, ad hoc events that happen in your system, and you want to trigger an email uh, using mass mailer. Uh, then the uh, actual uh, triggering mechanism can ha happen by the system or by a user, right? Meaning somebody is actually manually updating a record, and you want to fire off uh, an email. Uh, but that user who is actually updating the record is not necessarily a, sales, uh, a mass mailer user. So they're Salesforce users, but they don't have license to mass mailer, right? But they're still updating the record and the uh, and you're expecting that mass mailer is gonna fail, right? And, uh, but they don't have mass mailer license. Uh, but from a technical perspective, they still need to have access to the, uh, the package components, um, you know, only from execution perspective uh, in the background but nothing in the UI, they cannot really see anything in the UI, right? Uh, so that's that's where we say that you need to assign uh, certain components or give the permission to certain components uh, so that they, uh, the component get uh, triggered. Uh, you know, uh, just imagine like an email uh, sending uh, is a process that is done by mass mailer and you want to assign that component uh, to the particular user, you would do that using uh, the permission set. So again, it's a little technical, uh, but very important that you need to understand this. So you have to assign those uh, respective uh, uh, Apex classes and Visual Force pages uh, uh, to that user uh, through a permission set. Um, so permission set is nothing but a bunch of things that are uh, in the platform, uh, the components uh, that you're giving access to that particular user, and also you're going to say what kind of a level of an access is that, right? Uh, again, you don't really have to um, do much on uh, how to do that. I mean, basically enabling the users is quite easy with this permission set. So basically, background is that why you need to do it because it's the reasons what I just mentioned to you, right? And uh, also, if you are um, trying to use uh, email. Uh, validation feature in mass mailer and you're trying to uh, trigger that process using the process builder or flow, uh, then again, you need the exact same thing, right? So if the answer is yes for uh, any of the listed out here, then you have to assign the permission set to non mass mailer users, right? Okay. Um, and then what it means basically are uh, giving the access to the Apex class and the visual force pages that are packaged with mass mailer to that particular non mass mailer user. And how do you do that? It's quite, it's quite easy. Um, and there are multiple ways to do it, but I think we want to make, uh, keep it very simple or make it very simple for the users. So you go to mass mailer setup, only the admin, uh, Salesforce admin who has got a, a mass mailer license needs to do this, not the other users. So you go to mass mailer setup, uh, go to users and click on the assign permission to non mass mailer users button that you see uh, right below bottom of the screen, uh, the blue color, the big button. Assign permission to non mass mailer users is the button that you need to click. And then uh, you just have to uh, pick and choose um, who those users are and then assign the permission set, right? So, in order to show you how it looks in the UI, so you go to mass mailer setup and then go to users. So, basically, when you go to mass mailer setup, uh, you land to the first page, but just go to the users 
And then here you see this mass ma manage non mass media users section. I'll send permission to non mass media user. Just click on this, and it's going to show you all the users in your system. Uh, so we uh, currently you have to pick and choose those users. Uh, so you can also um, select all filtered users and then set the permission set. That's uh, that's an option. So which is one uh, one simple step. Uh, so as long as you do this, so basically select any of them. Of uh, an example, this and then set mass mail of permission, and that should just work, uh, right? And then close this. Um, and basically, behind the scenes, this permission set that I mentioned. So, if you go to Salesforce uh, setup and then type in permission set in this uh, box, and then you can see the mass mail or non user as one of the permission set, and that would give you access to certain Apex classes in the Visual Force pages. Uh, so, you just have to, I mean, uh, technically speaking, this permission set uh, gets you uh, gets um, assigned to that particular user. Uh, so that's all what is happening behind the scenes. Um, and again, uh, this is quite easy. If you want to do it from here, also you can do that. So any user, uh, a non-user, uh, if you wanted to non mass mail user, if you wanted to give them access to uh, mass mailer, no problem. All you need to do is just go from here. You can also send permissions but from here, but you know, um, I, I would rather do it from um, you know, non user, as you can see, right? Uh, so we have assigned the permission just to demonstrate. But as I said, uh, this is the right you know, preferred approach so that you can just do it in bulk. Uh, so just search for those uh, users and then I'll send the permission set. Okay, so that's all what I uh, want to talk about today. Uh, any questions? Seems like uh, no questions today. Uh, once again, this is Siva Devaki. Uh, this is a weekly webinar uh, that I schedule every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Um, and here is my contact information if you have more questions. And you can also uh, submit uh, an inquiry on our website, um, massmailer.io. Uh, if you are part of our email list, um, you would be receiving an email with a recording for this session as well as upcoming webinar as well. Uh, once again, thank you so much um, for joining the webinar today. Have a great day. Have a great evening.